Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, back to the Legacy Hub. So apparently I have one out of four unlocks. And using my keen sense of uh, deduction, I guess every, every single one of these has one unlock, so... I got the unlock. That So I don't really have to redo this. Even though it really sucks to be like 1,700 short, but we'll do... Oh shit, XCOM 3? It came from the sea. So, um... We have a psionics person. Oh no, a Templar. Ooh. Spicy. And he's still the same. Sharpshooter. Let's try not get them to... Oh, dude, they have a cool tactical gun. And Michael Lewis. Alright. Let's give you the first one to go. Let's just generate new resistance operation. I guess you just make your own. Whatever. Ah, uh, nightmare. I don't know about you, but from where I'm sitting, things are just looking a little grim out there today, folks. I'm not sure what it is, I just can't seem to get my juices flowing like they used to. I was all excited to try this old folk remedy I heard about, this but up until I realized the secret ingredient was something you had to dig out of one of those snake chicks running around out there. Now don't get me wrong, if I thought I could catch one, I would have at least tried it. I've been working with a few local operators. Helping people out on the fringes wherever we could. In this case, we were following up on some rumors about the aliens hitting a town out on the coast. We just figured Advent was finally getting down to the stragglers. I was just thinking myself, like, how did I see that? And now it just occurred to me it's because uh, the windows. Uh, thank goodness we're on concealment. Oh, dude, Harbinger. Shepherd, I will something, something. Well, day. All right, hopefully you didn't proc the world. What the fuck is this? Oh, dude, Advent Burger Factory. Maybe. I don't know. Might be. Got it moving. It's far, but I can reach it. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Finally, we will find the location of the tasty Advent Burgers. They came from the sea. What the fuck? That's what stood out. They were just giant bugs to us back then. We didn't know anything about the science. Chrysalids. Strange ones, too. White. Like they were covered in bone. I hope everyone's having a great day out there in the occupied territories. Don't let Advent get you dead. In fact, I would urge all of you. Nice with it. At least long enough. Relax. And that do what I did. Steal everything of theirs that ain't bolted down. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I trust in your command. Just like this. Scanning. Scanning. Come on, tell me we have Blade Storm. Ah, uh, oh wait, 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 we didn't get triggered. It wasn't until we got close to town that we started picking up these transmissions. We didn't know what to make of it. It sure as hell wasn't Advent, and no one in the Resistance was stupid enough to leave the aliens with a signal to follow. No, we don't have anyone that can do that thing, alright. Well... <sighs> I think we lost. I want to kind of throw the grenade with this person, but that fucking chrysalid is going to just kick our ass. Actually, he's only got 4 HP. But as we know, chrysalid poop is uh, the most dangerous thing on the planet. So, uh, I think the Templar we're going to get to throw the grenade. I feel like we have to kill that chrysalid, but there's also that guy. This actually sucks. What's the most threatening thing to us is the question. 
I think if we move up, then the crystal can't hurt us, so I think that'll be the play. Uh, five out of eight damage. I think no matter what, this is gonna don't suck, so we'll take as many of them out as possible. Oh, dude, that guy, man. I don't want to deal with this guy. Because, th dude, we're gonna trigger 15 things there, so we're not doing that. But we will get that guy. <laughs> Coming up the ladder for you. That's such an elaborate. Uh... Alright. I think everyone's spread out enough, but someone's definitely getting crit here. I'm just telling you guys that right now. Oh, wow. He's an idiot. Oh, no! She got the chrysalid poison on her. Fuck. Oh my god, she almost died too. You're just tuning in. I'm your host with the most. The man with the golden voice that even the aliens couldn't keep All right. down. You see, apparently, yours truly just wasn't good enough. Uh, apparently, Meg to Heal is a, uh... God forbid a man make himself a little snack in between orders. It's not like they're gonna run out of that slot. Well, apparently, Crystals have a lot of movement. Who would have thought? Well, uh, we have some options here, but I think... I think the best thing would be for Bradford to move forward, but then again... Where the hell is he? Why can't we see him? Oh, he's just stasis that, that's why. Oh, whatever, just kill that. It's not like he can see these, anyways. Also, getting a Templar putty buff is uh, probably a good idea. Let me go up here. Get some high ground. Yeah, this is the one mission run. So wait. So basically, um, Bradford forgot everything he learned in the last mission. You know, he was fighting avatars, but then he's like, yeah. Dodge grazed. Radio chatter aside, we had a much bigger problem to contend with. The rumors were true. The aliens had hit this town. And you know what? We would have welcomed a good fight with Advent versus what we actually ran into that day. Huh. Oh, let's see if we can shoot him from up here. Oh, uh, wait, he's gonna be behind cover now. No! Why did I do that? I'm so dumb. Oh, dude, I'm super dumb. Psionic attack. It jumps. Yeah, fuck this guy. Oh, that didn't even kill him. What's your gun have? Oh, uh, we can do that. Wait, oh, wait, wait, you don't even have cover. What happened to the thing you're behind? <laughs> well, this is awkward. Okay. Yeah, it's not like he can... Yeah, he's gonna do something. I'm under attack here. Overwatch. Target done. Neo net net something. You know, I was gonna say this is probably the more useless person to have in Overwatch, but I think his shotgun has better range. I brought this person forward for the momentum. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Thank goodness they have momentum. Yes, Commander. Um. Uh, yeah, no matter what, I think we're going to be doing. I think we should throw a grenade there, but. That's really risky. I think someone's getting hit, so let's just go up here and overwatch, protect. Yeah. Moving to overwatch. Overwatch. Well, you know, Bradford is actually pretty handy with that, so. I can't really complain. Oh yeah, they don't have enough movement. That's good. There's a time and a place for everything, and I'll admit it. If I'd been sitting around the campfire having a few drinks, this guy probably would have been kind of funny in an insane way. But during the heat of combat with a bunch of weird ocean chrysalids running us down, I would have given anything to shut him up. All right, let's see if we can get our sniper action moving. Copy that. Uh, we can just keep you there. I'm watching. Affirmative. Covering now. Oh. We got him on the run. I think it's just one left anyways. I just don't know what they're missing. Seriously. Do you hear this voice? This is a voice destined for greatness. Not the voice of some burger man. That's right, Adrian. You made yourself a powerful man. Because I can talk all night, baby! I'm on the move. What kind of name is Roadkill? Overwatch. I will sense any disturbance. Let's rock. Fucking Harbinger. If they move, it's on. He has spent the last ten minutes babbling about hamburgers while we were out there <laughs> watching people mutate into chrysalids from all the poison. Honestly, one of the worst things I've ever seen. And this guy was our soundtrack the whole damn time. Back online. That's actually pretty funny. He's, He's babbling about hamburgers the entire time. Now that I'm finally getting through to some of you out there, maybe introductions. Let's see a little about myself. Great voice. Uh, guess there's some over here. Good looks and a personality match. You might as well call me DJ Total Package. Oh, um, okay, don't call me that, but you get the idea. Closing on target position now. Alright. Headed there now. Bring everybody over. I'm getting so. My senses are keen. How are they, are. Yeah, Templar is actually pretty useful for this. I like how she waits for the points. She knows. Kill confirmed. Eventually, we killed off the waves of chrysalids pouring into town. But we still didn't know what was riling them up in the first place. Fucking Bradford. Alright. Let's take a picture of that beard. Oh my god. The fuck kind of <laughs> that reaction though. <laughs> Advent brought in some equipment for the troops stationed at the local outpost. We were able to scrounge up a few things, but we couldn't take everything. Ah, I guess you don't get a uh, a grenade this time. So AP rounds, talent rounds, or blue screen rounds. You know, okay. Part of me thinks this is like what I would normally take, but this is what I sh probably should take. Because having a battle scanner might prevent my people from dying. Re Mimic beacon would prevent people from dying. I don't know what you'd use the skulljack for. To be fair, it's a tough choice, guys. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna just try this, okay? It it goes it goes like beyond what I normally would do, but yeah. Oh, dude, we got 
Carlia Hand Hand Herendez or whatever the fuck. Alright. Apparently we suck too. If the chrysalids were moving underwater, every town, camp, and settlement along the coast was at risk of the same fate as that last one. We decided to keep moving. If nothing else, we could try and warn people before the next attack. And wouldn't you know it? The further we got, the stronger the signal from the new self-proclaimed King of the Airwaves. Part of me was almost hoping Advent would drown him out with some soothing propaganda of their own. But he had really jammed up their frequencies somehow. You know, there's we there get two battle scanners. In. The wind coming off the water was brutal. I only remember because when we got to the camp, it was burning. And the heat was a welcome change despite knowing what it meant for the well, That's unfortunate. Huh. Because I can only now fire the pistol. Well, fuck you guys. Alright. Where's uh, Mox Jr.? Fucking A. Actually, wait, do you have a grenade? Yeah, you do. And there's a random civvy here. Yeah, these are not good, because there's that guy with a flamethrower, so... I kind of want to take him out, but... Hmm. Uh, yeah, I could get a flank off over here. Three to four damage is horrible. Well, whatever. Turns into five when you crit. Alright, well. Justice, use it to deliver it to you. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Either one of these is actually pretty good. I kind of want to get rid of the pyro, but the stun lance is also pretty good target to get rid of. Huh. I feel like that's a better one, because he's actually flanking us. Fuck. Well, you know, had to happen. Yeah, you really do. Okay, apparently she cannot even move up far enough to make that work. Five to seven. You have Blade Master? You do Blade Storm, sorry. Yes, you do. So you go up there. The minute he moves, we're going to be good, don't worry. Uh, let me think here. Kind of want to make Nessie have a. Is she exact? Is she in a position where? Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, he is. He can just stay there. Agreed. No one gets by me. Are you fuck, Man, I should always do the, the good old grenade check where you just love most grenades and, you know, works every time. <laughs> marks, he marks uh, that guy. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I think, uh, I think Central's in trouble. Uh-oh. Are you gonna cook your own guy? What the- what?! Not even close. What? They're all over <laughs> me! Alright. We may have problems here. I think Central's on fire, by the way. No, he's actually not on fire. 
Oh, Blarg's Day. I love that day. Alright, we... There's fucking... Too much shit here. I'm, I'm kind of debating just to lob a grenade in over here, but... You know. I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. My sniper needs to reposition, I think, anyways. I'm on the move! And we're gonna probably lob a, a, one of those other Red. grenades. You know the ones. The mimic beacons, because now I have them for a reason. I mean, I could have thrown the battle scanner first thing, but I did it. I did one move, and I figured I would throw it like in a more opportune position. All right. I like you to kill the guy who's kind of out in the open there. Actually, wait, that's someone else. Uh, I worked out for me. I like that. I also like that. But I like that even more. Oh, cool. Oh, these are working out. Good old Harbinger. Fuck, dude. Harbinger, you suck. You're supposed to assume direct control and, uh... Oh. I think he's got the, me the meme beacon, so... Is he on fire? No, he's not. It kinda just looked like he was. It would help if you actually had your pistol. <laughs> how, how does that thing dodge? Man, I love those things so much. Oh, dude, please fire your own guys. Oh, yeah. Dude, who even falls for this? Guys, it was a mimic beacon. Ah, oh, shit, there's more chrysalids. Yeah, I have to say, uh, no regrets about that choice. I definitely like the mimic beacon. Okay, are we, are we done looking at... This engaging. Okay, good. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't the chrysalis this time. At least, not right off the bat. Advent was in town, and they seemed to be having some trouble with the bugs, too. We also had a few civilians to contend with. The whole situation was a mess. Kind of like this one. I want to lob grenades at these guys, so. Because the, the fire guy can blow up. Fuck, of course the fire guy doesn't blow up. I have a mech. Eh. Let's try and get... Uh, the guy who's out, caught out in the open. Because he might blow up. <laughs> Fuck. Well, he's not going to blow up with that. Oh, I guess we're going to have to do this. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Good oh, these guys have a vulnerability to melee attacks. Oh, okay. He, I thought he wasn't behind anything. Yeah, these guys are... Well, he might not die. That's a risk I'm willing to take. It's like 50-50. Yeah, there you go, actually. A lot of these are really risky moves, but you know. Hey, you know what they say. No pain, no gain. The path is clear. Alright, so here's a question. Do we just want to throw a mimic beacon out here? I don't know if we really need to, but I think we should. Yeah, 
Hey, I guess we're good. That's what we're gonna do. Does lightning strike in two in, in two places? Apparently, yes, it does. <laughs> what? Dude, dude, they're hyper aggression for mimic beacons, man. Use Amplify on that guy? Oh, I guess you can't even see him, can you? Huh. Go figure. It's my sniper, see. Not just that and that and that. These are not terribly great shots. Which should I think of the best way of handling this? Because I, I was going to use the thing that made them do deal more damage, but... Oh, actually, you're just down in the open, aren't you? Huh. Oh, maybe we'll get that 40% crit. Maybe go fuck yourself. Ah, come on. You know what? You know what? It was at this moment, Mike stopped giving a fuck. This world is ours. Okay. At this moment, Mike realized he was fucked. Actually, what the hell? You get to hit and move back? And you don't get to move back to the same place. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. I think. Here's what we're gonna do. I kind of really want to shotgun him, but I want to stand next to this guy. Also, these are fucking terrible ideas. Also, you know what? No. Actually, I think no matter what, we're kind of boned. Actually, wait, wait, no, we're not. You haven't done anything yet. It's only a little bit of fire here. Fire never hurt anybody. Yeah, we're actually u using these guys like advantages. Alright. The hell? Okay, so we got still a sniper rifle shot. Like to take out that guy. Alright, well now Bradford can definitely handle that. Doesn't even maybe even need to be Bradford. Uh, probably does. Rather have the psionic guy dead. We'll just deal with the robot next one turn. Enemy down. What's he gonna do? Blow us up? He's totally gonna blow us up. What did that person ever do to you? What? Six damage. Man, I like Templars too, man. Fuck. By now you might be asking yourself, Central, if you didn't want to listen to the DJ, why not just shut off your radio? You'd be right to ask. You see, the problem was, the stronger his signal got, the more it interfered with our comm link. We could either go completely radio silent, or put up with him for a bit longer. I think Central has that, to be honest. Yeah, Central's got it. Good old Central the enemy nerd. Completely reliable. Fucking joking. 
All right, well, someone's gonna die here if uh, nobody takes this out. Okay. Good, they wanted to live. I mean, honestly, can't I? Actually, I could just prevent them from dying by making them so they don't bleed out. Actually, gremlin stabilize. So I say let's do that. Because I, I think we actually haven't lost points for that, have we? Let's see if we can prevent her from bleeding out. Gremlin, medical detail. Reinitializing okay, we have a problem here. Because everyone ran out of ammo. <laughs> this is kind of an issue. No! I mean, he does have Blade Master. I think he's going for her. her. Oh, God, they're already dead. Get turned into more crystal babies. We didn't have a clue where he was broadcasting from at that point. For all we knew, he could have been thousands of miles away. That was until he mentioned the big, big bugs he thought he saw. It was possible that these white chrysalids were all over the world. But it seemed a lot more likely that the DJ was somewhere close by. I don't want to go any further up. Because I can actually literally see the Muton over there. I'm on the move. Uh, we're not getting that. Alright. Oh, wait, we are. What? We crit? Got him. Oh, we need more damage than that. Alright. I already paid a visit to your town. You might have noticed one of my relays and a bunch of other equipment rigged up nearby. Do me a favor, would you? Don't touch it! It might look like a bunch of cobbled together junk, but it's my junk. Oh, no. No, not that junk. The kind that keeps the show on the road. They look like they're coming for base, so. Yeah, they're here. We didn't even use the battle scanners, but and I probably should be smarter about using them. I I, I haven't used them a whole lot because uh, obviously the way I play this game is uh, not on Iron Man. All right. DJ may have been off his rocker, but I had to give him a little credit. I mean, the guy. The Skulljack did not come in handy. Radio network. Half the time we could barely find recruits who knew how to turn on a radio. Utilizing hook. That's convenient. Ooh, do we do we get these guys or we get this guy and his thing? Yeah, we're gonna get this guy and his armor. So all we need to do is bring Central over. And Central's gonna animate this shit. You see any of them? No, you can't, huh? Problem is, we can't, uh... Someone else has got to take out the Mutant. Also, he still has cover. Huh, go figure. Well, let's wait on you for a sec. Oh, good old roadkill. for those points. Got him. Order's confirmed. On the move. 
Oh, good. We, got, we actually got them all. Shit. Nothing went horribly wrong except for that uh, Templar die almost died. Or kind of did. Is that painful? Because it looks painful. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, because we killed them all and he still had a turn. The fuck? That's inconvenient. for us but we were only slightly closer to figuring out just what the hell was going on <laughs> we see your war face oh god too close I like how the fucking advent in the back uh, the skirmisher in the back there gear from the workshop we found set up by the radio tower there was some decent stuff in there so the choice of what the haul out wasn't easy I'd rather still have the regular grenades we're gonna give them PCS stuff. <laughs> 